But instead, we believe in looking at the productivity of your company as a whole and seeing what we can do to help. Now, one area that we've noticed is a growing productivity problem for a lot of you out there is managing all of the applications of your company. Companies grow, engineering teams change, servers move. And as all of that happens, it becomes increasingly difficult to manage all of the applications of your company. As your company grows from having a few internet apps to having hundreds, and from 10 employees to thousands, managing that whole ecosystem and keeping it healthy becomes an increasingly large challenge for you. So at Google, we thought about this problem, and we wanted to do something to help. Of course, since it has to do with hosting, we looked to Google App Engine, Google's hosting offering, which already serves over 100,000 applications that are used every single week. But as we tried to use App Engine to help with enterprise software, we noticed that there were some challenges to getting started. As Google moved over its own IT infrastructure to App Engine, and as we talked to our employees, our customers, and VMware, it became increasingly clear to us that the public cloud in general, and Google's cloud in particular, had some barriers to writing enterprise software. We heard that you needed something that was more reliable. We heard that you needed something that came with support. We heard you needed something with key features that your enterprise can't live without. We heard that you needed a better way to manage all of these applications in the cloud, and a way that would seem like the best possible solution, both to the engineers at your company, as well as the IT administrators. And finally, we thought that you needed a better way to pay for all of this. Having a single engineering team sign up with a credit card each time you want to create an app, it's not a very scalable solution. So we took these problems to heart. And over the past year, we've made investments to try to fix these problems. And thus, today, I'm really excited to announce to you a new product, Google App Engine for Business. The Google App Engine for Business represents a new version of App Engine that was built from the ground up around solving the real problems that enterprises face. It's composed of five features that we believe any business needs to build its infrastructure on App Engine. Those features are, one, a new company-centric management console, which makes it easy for you to see, manage, and set security policies across all of the applications in your domain. Two, it comes with professional support, so that when it's crunch time and you need help with your application, you know that there's someone out there that you can reach. It also comes with a formal service level agreement, or SLA, for the first time with App Engine. That means that we're putting our money where our mouth is when it comes to the reliability of your business. And finally, it also comes with two additional key features that we've heard almost every enterprise needs, SSL for your company's domain and SQL databases. That's right. You heard me right. When Google App Engine for Business is completely available, you'll have the choice of using our scalable data store, which is built on Bigtable, or a standard SQL database. We know that these features are critical to enterprise adoption. And finally, Google App Engine for Business also comes with a new way to pay for App Engine, a new pricing model that's based around something that's simple, your applications and your users. But you know, I actually think the greatest thing about Google App Engine for Business is that it's based on the success that we've already had with Google App Engine a product that's over half a billion daily page views strong and still growing. It comes with all of the features that you already know and love about Google App Engine. It's standard Python and Java programming environments, that it's easy to use and it's easy to scale, including that it's free to get started. With Google App Engine for Business, anyone in your company can create an application, develop it and test it, all for free. When they're ready to share it with their whole company, they just press Publish. Now, I mentioned to you that Google App Engine for Business comes with a new pricing model. We heard that our current pricing model for App Engine is fairly complex, especially for the enterprise use case. So we wanted to do something simple. We took a note from Google Apps for your domain. The pricing for Google App Engine for Business is really easy to understand. Your applications cost $8 per user, up to a maximum of $1,000 per application per month. That's it. 
There are no other fees or charges for you to understand. If you use your application within your domain, your usage is unlimited, and you can create as many applications as you'd like. That means with App Engine for Business, you don't have to worry about the cost of your data center, the cost of your management console, the cost of your licenses, and usage, all of those things. It's one simple price. You know, we talked to a lot of CIOs when we were working on this, and then we heard from many of you, you were spending 60% of your enterprise IT budget just keeping the lights on. Well, with Google App Engine for Business, we think we can get that down to zero. And we're putting our money where our mouth is. If your application in App Engine for Business has no usage, you don't pay a dime. Now, that's been a lot of me talking about this new product. I'd like now to actually show it to you. I'd like to show you how the management console in Google App Engine for Business makes it easier for you to scale your company in terms of the number of applications that you have from the point of view of an engineer, an IT admin, and a CIO. So let me get started. Uh, Bruce, I might need your help to log in here. Thanks, Bruce. All right. So let me go ahead and open it up. I'm going to open the management console for App Engine for Business. Now, for the purposes of this demo, we've created an example company, the Surly Butcher Corporation. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as a developer there. Now, if you've used App Engine before, this screen should be familiar. It's our normal list of the applications that you work on as an engineer at the company. But as you go to create an application, you'll notice there are a few things that are different. One, you find that it's easier to find an application identifier for the apps that you want to create because these application identifiers are limited to being within your business. So you no longer have to hunt around for one in the global namespace across Google. You'll also notice that we've got a, little, a different host name listed here rather than appspot.com. When you create an application on Google App Engine for Business, it's automatically mapped into your company's domain. You don't have to do any DNS setup or do any virtual host or anything like that. It just works with your company's domain name and brand. Now, I'm going to step back here for a second, and I'm going to go to an application that I deployed this morning, which is a sample blog for the Surly Butcher Company. So I'm going to open that up for you. But before I do, I'm going to go in the background, and I'm going to go log out of App Engine. So I should be logged out now. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the blog. There you go. And you can see it asked me to log back in. That's because Google App Engine for Business is secure by default. Security policies for all the applications that are created are set by the domain administrator, and developers can't change them without permission. That means that you can be sure that your internet apps are safe. So let me go ahead and log in to the simple app. So there we go. There's our company's simple blog. And you can see it's hosted right in the company's domain name, and I didn't have to set anything up. So let me go back to the application view uh, within the admin console. Now, as I said before, this view should be familiar to you. This is the standard view you see in App Engine of the apps that you work on. But because this is a company, you'll notice that there's a new link up here, which, gi which gives me a link to all of the applications for this company. As I click on that, I can now see every application that has been created within my company. And for each application, I can see the applications that I have access to and the ones that I don't. This helps your developers collaborate across your company. Now, one application that I work on inside of this company is the TechStop application. This is one that we use for our, our IT help desk for the company. When I open up this application, though, you'll see the familiar dashboard for App Engine. But you'll notice that there's a new tab under Permissions. With App Engine for Business, you can control who has access to which application and what level of access they have. Now, for this application, you can see I'm listed as a developer. And that means that I have pretty much full rights. I can view the logs of this application. I can go and deploy a new version of the application. And I can go under the data store viewer for the app and create new data or change data. But if I go back to the list of applications, I can see that there are some apps that I don't have all the same level of privileges. So if I open up our company's code review application, where we audit the code we work on, 
I can see that for this application, I'm only listed as a viewer. That means I can get to this dashboard and I can view logs and so forth. But if I go to the data store viewer, I can't change any data in the app and I can't deploy a new version. So again, this helps you manage within your company and manage the data that you're working on and the safety permissions with your company. Now, if I jump back to the list of applications, you'll see that there's some that I have no access to at all. These applications are ones that I'm just not a developer on. And if I click on one, you'll see I have no access. I can request access, though, and I'll email the developers to let me on if I can. Now, I said I was going to show you one other thing, and that was showing you that how a domain administrator or a CIO looks at all of this. So I'm going to sign out quickly, and I'm going to sign back in as someone who is a domain administrator at this company. So let me do that. Now, as a domain administrator, I don't actually have any applications because I don't write code anymore. But when I go to a list of all of the applications for the company, you can see I have full access to all of them. And that means I can go to any app, grant a developer access, remove a developer who's left the company, and handle situations like that. So that's the demo of App Engine for Business. Now, I want to make one thing clear. Google App Engine for Business represents a major new effort from Google. And it's a big new thing that we're doing. Today, I'm announcing App Engine for Business. It's not yet entirely available for everyone to use. But we know that enterprise development schedules take time and that you need time to plan. Thus, we wanted to tell you about this as soon as we could. So in response to that, today we're publishing the roadmap for Google App Engine for Business. Because some of the features that I told you about today will take longer than others, some will be available sooner than others. Our roadmap, which is published online at code.google.com, gives you an idea about when each one of these features will be available and when you could expect to see it. Now, already a number of companies that we're working with are already testing the App Engine Management Console, and they're using it to help manage their company and all the applications within it. So that's the end of my talk today. What I've shown you is a new version of App Engine, which is suited to business needs and a new way to manage all of your applications in the cloud. So thank you for your time. Please keep watching our roadmap to see how we're doing. And if you'd like to learn more, more about our toughest customer of Google App Engine for Business, please come see these talks where you can see how Google itself is building its IT apps on App Engine. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everyone. Three more slides. What did we show you? We made four promises at the beginning. We said we were going to show you how to build apps faster with familiar technology, showed you how integrating the Spring Tools and Google Web Toolkit let that happen. We said we were going to show you how to reach all your users and all their devices. The new mobile-ready widgets in Google Web Toolkit make that happen. We said we were going to show you how to stop being trapped into an architecture by a choice you make when you write your code. The cloud portability solution we showed you working with VMware on open standards made that happen. And we said we were going to show you how to juggle 1,000 applications for your company and keep your sanity. App Engine for Business allows that to happen. If you want to learn more, attend the sessions. You can go online at cloud portability, cloud portability at either google.com or vmware.com, get a lot more information, pointers to documentation, download the tools, access the roadmap, sign up for early use, all of that. We started this morning by talking about the power of open standards and how open standards leads to innovation. Some of the people who started using the tools that we showed you today, some of the people who started using Spring several years ago, started using Google Web Toolkit two years ago, you're in this room. When you started using those tools, you didn't know that you were building applications that were ready to run on Chrome. You didn't know that you were running applications that were ready to run on the Android browser. You didn't know that you were building for the platform of the future because it didn't exist when you started building your apps. But because you chose to invest in open standards, you chose to innovate in the open, you were ready for the future. Stay with the open standards. Stay with the web. Stay with HTML5. Come with us into the future. We're excited about it. We know you're excited. Enjoy the sessions. Enjoy the rest of your two days here. Thank you very much.